Hi folks, Russell Wright from ThemeZoom.com and KeywordUniversity.com. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the last keyword tool, which is part of the ThemeZoom suite of tools. And the last keyword tool is associated with affiliate marketing and general keyword research using natural language processing. It's the only keyword research tool in the world that does give you the advantage of natural language processing and semantic association across vertical markets. We're going to talk about the $4 million niche market research questions, and we're going to ask ourselves why so many people miss this. It is very important to understand when researching for niches how this works. You need to understand, is it a vitamin or a painkiller, your product or your client's product? And you can see there's a branching algorithm. If it's a uh, vitamin, you can come down to this side. If it's a painkiller, uh, go to the right side. Understand that if it's a painkiller, you automatically get two flames because it's, a pa it's an irrational passion. If something is an irrational passion, which is question number one, which I learned from my friend Eben Pagan during seminars, um, you automatically give it a flame. Okay? You can see that four flames is a flaming hot niche, three flames is a warm profitable niche, two flames is lukewarm and okay niche, and one flame is more research required or get the heck out. Okay, now, it doesn't mean that you need to abandon uh, a niche if it's one flame. What you need to do is understand the vertical and look at your client's long-term business strategy. Okay, but we're talking to affiliate marketers now. If you're a vitamin, it doesn't mean that you get rid of your vitamin. It just means that you need to reposition it in the marketplace. I want to repeat that. If you are a vitamin, you need to strongly consider the market segmentation aspects of why people buy your product, and you need to reposition it in the marketplace, especially if you only have one or two flames. Market repositioning is oftentimes part of something that's called ad copy, and we'll get into that quite a bit. There's all kinds of ways to reposition uh, vitamin into a painkiller. For example, it's very common for people with something like evening primrose, which is really a long, evening primrose is really a vitamin and a supplement, and yet can be repositioned because it does have a strong effect in arthritis pain. Therefore, position the product or the branding or the product name to associate it with, for example, arthritis relief you know, or fire relief or something like this, or pain relief. You've immediately changed the vitamin approach from a vitamin catalog, and I've done this for a client with Evening Primrose, to pain relief. And you've even changed the branding instead of just vitamin, this could be arthritis pain relief, would put it in this category, you understand? Okay, are people actually actively searching for it? For example, they might be searching for Evening Primrose in a very general way, but because there's no pain keywords or action commercial keywords associated with it, you might not get any conversions or be able to track those direct conversions. If they're actively searching for it, um, it's a good product, okay, or a good uh, market to get into. Are there few product choices? This is something where, again, from Eben Pagan, when you get into it, you need to go ahead and look through the search engines, Bing, Google, Yahoo, find out if Evening Primrose is actually being searched for in general, especially if you're in a vitamin. If Evening Primrose plus arthritis, because you've decided to uh, reposition your product in the form of a hot button or pain, go ahead and look for the keyword uh, in that association. Also, if there are few product choices. You'll need to go through and look at your competitive products, find out the companies behind them, find out what affiliate programs they're providing, find out what kind of marketing leverage they have. Also find out who the Uber company, the master company that runs those products actually are. You need to find out who's selling these things and what kind of competition you have with them online. So again, four flames, flaming hot niche, three flames, warm, possibly profitable, Two flames, eh, you want to reposition yourself in the marketplace or find some kind of other angle within a niche. One flame, you need to research more, find a new and unique approach to your product, possibly even reposition it within the market segment itself. You'll need Kraken uh, in order to reposition yourself in a larger vertical market. And you'll need the last keyword tool to find out what the long tail pain handlers are for a keyword. For example, Evening primrose would be a seed term, but evening primrose arthritis relief would be a niche or a long tail. And you need to use the last keyword tool in order to do that. In order to use the ThemeZoom suite of tools, just visit us at ThemeZoom.com. That's T-H-E-M-E-Z-O-O-M.com. And look at our suite of tools that include the Kraken Vertical Online Market Segmentation Tool, as well as the bottom-up approach, which is Natural Language Processing and the Last Keyword Tool. We look forward to seeing you on the inside.